Hello everyone, it's your boy No Respawns making incredibly shit intros to his videos. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so this is my armory. I mentioned the last vid, I wanted to kind of finish off some of the chaff areas, I guess. Kind of the little bits of the castle that we hadn't finished. This is also individually quite a nice little way to do the castle kind of armory area, which is quite cool. I do... So I'm going to be showing you quite a lot of decoration in potentially the next vid or the vid afterwards. In this one, because there was quite a bit of building to do on the outside, I decided to not... Basically, because if I showed you all the decoration and the building, it would have been a bit too uncomfortably long. I don't like my videos too long. This one, however, is a nice length. So I show you a little bit in the inside, but then we do the full tour. I obviously walk through it quite slowly. So the whole premise of this is I wanted the kind of... It just to be this kind of reinforced little it feels like a bunker which i'm quite liking quite a bit it, it was uh it was quite fun i was a little bit how can i put this with this happened this is a bit of a problem i have with the castle generally actually is the fact is that when i'm decorating the inside i kind of like i think because i have a little bit more space than i would like like because i you know i've mentioned this before how i like things quite cramped that's kind of my decorating style, you probably gather already. I like clutter, I like shit everywhere, it's grand. And as you'll see when I kind of do the tour, it's still reasonably, I've tried to clutter up, I make this little kind of security gate area. However, it's not as cluttered and tight as I would like, and I think I, that's the problem I have with decorating the castle. That's why I think we're probably going to do a lot of build rooms, or I hate when it does that, um, might build rooms in kind of the the main kind of corridor areas. I'm not too sure. I'm going to actually visit, I'm going to go on to my other save and visit my old castle to have a look-see. But see, this is pretty straightforward. It's quite grand. I have to be very careful with the staircase as well because obviously Ronnie Shaw comes in here and I don't want to get him stuck, but I've tested it and it works really fine. Mainly because, well, I was decorating a couple of in-game days went by and she walked in and walked out and, you know, generally got in my way because she's a bitch. I'm quite excited to finish this. <laughs> So basically, mentioned now, so we've got, now that I've done this, in terms of stuff that I kind of bare minimum need to do, we need to decorate the inside, so that's going to take ages. Because, you know, this took me freaking hours to do. But I've also got to finish off my castle turrets, but that won't be in a video. The uh, places where I pe keep my artillery. And we've also got the wind farms. Maybe the next video might be the wind farm or the, what do you call it? What was I going to do? I was going to do a wind farm. Spoiler, I mentioned that last video. And also we're going to be doing a water purifier. So that looks pretty cool now. Just kind of blocking off. You'll see when, when it's fully done and when the, the whole structure's built, it's nice. Because I want to kind of give this slightly, not claustrophobic, but just kind of like corridors. And just kind of very, very cramped feel. I end up scrapping this metal thing, but I just thought I'd show you me putting it in. Because it's a potentially good idea if you like it. I just didn't like the way it looked after I popped it in and got it all straight I was like actually don't like that staircase this is the best technique ever which I've shown you before also don't do what I'm about to do which is put it too close to the wall at the back which means when you hold your pillar down or do the select all thing you pick up all the walls and it you swear a lot because you get really angry because it's too far back anywho but it's all right because I I fixed it so it's okay it's okay we're all right I am running out of places to do my glitching though I've got a few places. I mean, I won't, I won't actually run out of places because there are actually kind of open areas within all over the castle which I haven't used, but I can't do much big stuff anymore. But it's fine because it's all whittle, whittle, whittle stuff, yeah? This is cool. This looks pretty grand. Nice little staircase. Getting this really straight was harder than you would realise. I cut out a lot of footage of me kind of just like dicking around with things. Mainly because if you want to replicate it, then you're just going to have to do that yourself. <laughs> it takes fucking ages. <laughs> But yeah, dick dicking around, getting things straight. I'll take this off because it looks shit. It doesn't look very good. Put a doorway in instead. See, initially I did, um, I had to scrap my entire build for this. Because initially I had loads of the wee, not the wee, the massive in fact. The very tall junk walls. And I had pillar glitched them in. And it was this kind of bit more of a kind of robust area. And I ended up like glitching in some roofs. But the whole thing just looked a little bit skaggy. So instead I just kind of went for this a bit more kind of compact, bunkery look to it. And I'm quite pleased. I'm kind of annoyed that we can't close this door. I don't know what they were thinking. Or at least scrap the door or something. I don't mind the door. 
right? And I'm quite pleased with how this ended up. But it's always been one of those things. I imagine a lot of you guys are the same way as well. You're like, well, I can't really do much with that stupid door in the way. I mean, I've, I've done something actually pretty sweet, so there we go. However, normally I can't do much. A note here. So you'll see in the tour, because I walked through it, but basically there's a big space, effectively. So I'm going to pop these bits in there, and where we've got the... I, I put some walls in, and you'll see the second kind of matching where the ceiling is, which means when you look at it from the front, you can see just it just looks like these walls here. There's a big gap behind them. So what I end up doing is putting loads of crates and stuff, and just kind of making it look like there's just loads of like piled up boxes and shit. It looks really good, but I, I didn't show you. It was something I decided in the decoration space. So basically, before you do these parts here, just put a load of boxes. But you'll see what I mean. So in between the gap, yeah, there you've got loads of space. Because all I did is just took the front walls out and then just slammed them in. It looked pretty good. Just kind of like filling it up. I like that kind of cluttery stuff. This was quite The whole building of this really isn't very complex. I was really, um... Because I do want to do some decorating videos, because I promised I would. But this one, because we did some building, I was like, right, I'm not going to do I'm not going to show you the decoration. But I did record all of it. The problem was, it was so, um... Because I was so indecisive. <laughs> That's why I normally don't show decoration people, yeah, is I'm so stupidly indecisive. So I think if I'm going to do a decoration vid on, like, the rest of the castle, I'm going to have to decide in advance how it's going to look, or it's going to take ages to edit all the footage. <laughs> It'll just be going, right, well, that's uh, three hours of me just fucking around, moving a chair. Ooh, exciting. I did make quite good. There's, um... A few more bits of Aslam's decoration pack, which I use in there as well, mainly because he has loads of gun racks. So I do use a few of those as well, which is quite cool. I do like that mod. It's good for shelf stuff, basically. I use it for shelf stuff. Shelving stuff is good. So see, we're just popping these bits in here, reinforcing. The most of this build, the building part of this video, is literally me just kind of doing this little entranceway thing here. I decided to, initially I had kind of loads of ideas of like maybe like glitching a pre-existing structure. As I said, kind of maybe making kind of big towers, but eventually I just kind of opted for this quite kind of like wooden bunkery thing. And I like the way, because you'll see, um, this is me by the way doing my, now I'm inside and we've done a little bit of decorations, this is me just doing a security gate where I'm, I wanted to kind of move, the room was a little bit too empty basically, and the shelves just decorating the outside and I realised I needed at least some structures to come out that I did kind of bespoke, and this looked quite cool, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this, yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, with the with the bunker, the way it looks, I like the way it kind of feels like a bunker. And you kind of go down, and you'll see it in the tour, it just kind of... It feels very secure, which is quite grand. Also, I had to change this off, because I remembered that Ronnie Shaw rests literally there. I've even got a sign above her head, so I would remember it, and then I proceeded to forget. This is me actively remembering, like, oh yeah, shoot. Ronnie needs to stand there, doesn't she? And if you don't let her stand there, she just gets stuck, and... Looks like an absolute knob, or is now I put a little table with an ashtray next to her and everything as well. Yeah. I'm quite pleased with the way this thing's turned out, but I'm I'm just I hate how fucking big the <laughs> the armor is. It's too big. If I could scrap everything inside, but I, I don't I can't get rid of that big shelf on the side. Or I probably could if I got a mod actually. I bet scrap that every scrap that settlement has it. Anyway, it looks cool. I was just a bit miffed about the uh, space. As you can see, it's quite an open area, isn't it? And with open areas, this is my worst thing. That's why I always make my rooms nice and small, so I could just kind of clutter them up. Whereas big open areas, I'm like, uh... I mean, obviously, just some of you will look fine, but to me, because I like clutter, it, you know, makes me makes me twitch. I'm going to show you how to do a door in a sec, just because it's quite useful. See, Aslam's decoration pack has these in it, which is really cool. So I decided I wanted this kind of little security room, and then... For whatever reason, the Minutemen clothes need to be secure. Oh, wait, I moved them over here, then changed my mind, and then moved them back. But that's in the decoration period, and as I said, when I decorate shit, I move shit around all the time. I'm like, uh, uh, I don't know. Not a barn door, David. Yeah, normal door. Now, I forgot that you can't put these in, so what I do... That was there because I needed to... That um, <laughs> So that power arbor storage I've got on the back there, it doesn't work. It's too close back to the wall that you can't act close back, close back, back, close to the wall that you can't actually, um, <laughs> that you can't actually use it. So that's just as a note. Basically, I've just left it there. So it looks cool. Yeah, can't, can't use it for shit. So you may notice I put the doorway down and then I'm now moving around the back. The reason being is I want the doorway to open out 
And so with this door, because they open inwards, I have to do this. And the reason why I do this is because I can then, but I didn't get that one straight, so I'm going to do it properly. It's fine. Show you again. Very, very quick. It's quite useful. Useful technique is this. So there we go. See, if you, with these doors, if you want them open out, you need to make sure that they're glitching them from the back. You need to put them down first, because they're a, a snappable item. They can't. They have to snap to a doorway. They can't just be placed down. But this is. I'm reasonably decent at this. See, you measure up from the top. Boom, bash. And don't forget, this is sped up as well. So normally I do this quite slow. That's better. And now the door is all hunky dory, and the tour is a coming. After I just decorate the inside a little bit and show you some more stuffs. But yes, yeah, so I'm quite pleased. Oh, I'm so excited with this castle. Ugh. I also want to start Bunker Hill as well. I'm giddy for a bit of Bunker Hill. Are you giddy for a bit of Bunker Hill? Alright, anyway, Tor is a coming now. Tor is a coming. Now? Yes, here it is. There we go. See my bunker? Very, very cool. Also, I did not realise the other brazier. Those are from the, um, what do we call it? The Rust Devils. And I completely didn't realise that the second one wasn't actually on fire. I just wasn't paying attention, so I've got to replace that with the one that's on fire. But as you can see, it feels quite kind of just ramshackle and secure. I glitched in a doorway, as you can see, to make it look like that was an even deeper bunker. And it's just quite a lot of junk from Aslam's junk decoration pack and kind of my own kind of custom stuff as well. It's a bit open in here, which bothered me a little bit, but it was... I didn't want to go over the top, but it look, it looks pretty solid. It looks... I've also got... So that's Ronnie's area. I have to keep moving that sign around, because I think she actually moves slightly from a different spot. So I keep trying to center overhead, but it's not going to work. Here is my little secure area that's got the clothes, because apparently the clothes need to be secure for whatever reason. And a broken robot on a safe with a gas mask on the top. And some guns, as you'll see. This looks pretty cool. It's, it's nice. I'm just... It's a bit too open, but I can't really do anything about that other than just put more shit around and it'll just look ridiculous. So I decided to hold back a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. As always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I have a new video up soon. Check down my bunk. I haven't built anything down here, but it's grand. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.